My name's Craig and I build bikes. I make videos and put them on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber? Yet to be finalized. But I've recently moved house, uh, so I had to pack up my old studio and uh, start a new one. Um, this is it, but this is, this is boring. If you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know that I like lights and kind of color things and something nice to look at, um, other than this face. Well, I have finished the build and um, I'm very excited to show you. Uh, in the last video, I mentioned the fact that, uh, kind of give you a bit of a, a clue of what was going on and a few of you were upset that I didn't show you the dismantling of the old place. Um, I didn't think you'd be interested in that. So I learned my lesson and I am now making a video about me making my dream bike studio, dungeon, cave. It needs a name. For a change, I'm not gonna waffle on about everything that's been going on. Uh, let's just move straight into it and uh, take a look at the room that we're about to turn into this. It's pretty cool. So in the last video, I introduced you to the new room and pointing at a load of plugs, uh, like that one, uh, even that one. I showed you a carpet. Oh, and I uh, showed you that I have a heater now, so I'll always be warm. The first step I took to making this room my own was uh, getting rid of the stupid lamp and uh, putting a smart light bulb in. Um, all my lights that I have in my studio are all smart bulbs so I can make it look all sweet. Um, these curtains were also dreadful uh, so I needed to put some darker up. Um, I'm going to now show you my awful DIY skills. Turns out I'm well bad when it comes to putting curtains or blinds up. Uh, give me a stuck bottom bracket, no problem. Next was a desk. Uh, I've pretty much recorded and edited all my videos at the kitchen side in the old place, so it was nice to have actual space. And my son decided to help me as well, but then also unhelp me once he finished helping me. Next was a like a desk mat because it was three pounds and looked flashy. Uh, a lamp because lights. Uh, and then I even put a candle on there just to, uh, well, for farts. Oh, and then we need our computer uh, with a very snazzy looking new logo, but a really dirty display. Next was a workbench. Um, this workbench isn't really for dirty stuff and I'm gonna explain that more and further along the line. But um, yeah, I wanted something to kind of, uh, to do stuff on, little cleanup projects. And um, it was really difficult. No, seriously, it was a piece of junk. Uh, there's bits hanging out of it, and there's even this thing kind of poking through the top that um, really shouldn't be there. Next is, um, well, I've I got to put the skull up. Like, the skull was one of my main characters, really, in the last studio. Uh, people got quite upset when I, I showed me taking it down in the last, on Instagram, or wherever it was. Um, and then, uh, let's turn the lights on. <laughs> Sick. I couldn't tell you how I found this, but I did find a website that made custom work mats and could not resist. It's that snazzy logo again. In this corner, I want to put all the kind of like brand new parts that I buy. Um, I want to build a shelf just over there and I'm going to do that like this. Uh, and then anything kind of like newer, I can put on these shelves. But uh, that's kind of it. And this is kind of where it looks now. Fair warning, I'm really bad at B-roll. So going forward, this will be known as the candy shop. This is kind of a place where I can put all my gear that I've bought ready for build. So keep an eye out. There will be some spoilers in here. And um, one of the most important spaces I needed was uh, kind of somewhere I can actually ship your stickers from that you can get from saveoldbikes.com, by the way. Links below. Now I'm sure you all thought when you saw the pegboard, some sort of fancy tool, but I've got another plan for that. This is actually a space to have products from my partners and then uh, products that I want to review uh, and a good place to kind of showcase stuff that's going to be coming up in the videos as well. Um, I'm a big fan of little Easter eggs. Uh, this will be behind me at all times and you can see stuff that's coming up. Um, so yeah, the cool wall, maybe. This section here was particularly important to me. I wanted a good space where I could work on videos and kind of edit and just kind of be able to like sit down comfortably to do it um, instead of feeling like I was doing it in a random space. Uh, and uh, 
I also want to get back into something I did a lot in the future, which was podcasting. Um, I want to do a cycling podcast, so this is a nice place to do it. Um, but there's no time frame on that, so don't hold me to it. It could be ages. But I will do it, I think. And that's that. Welcome to the new studio. Um, I'm pretty chuffed with it. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, um, the space where I used to record a lot of these videos was, it wasn't very functional. Um, it, I had stuff everywhere and it was very much my own fault. Um, but uh, this space is now tailor-made for making videos for YouTube and for you guys. So it's gonna be a lot easier for me to do it, really. And um, I'm crazy excited about it. But reading some of the comments and DMs I've been getting recently, some of you are a bit worried that I'm gonna not do many builds. Um, it, winter in the UK is pretty tough. Um, and I've spent the last six months essentially getting to the point where I am right now. So it's been kind of stressful. So the builds have been a bit here and there. Um, I have parts ready, hence the candy shop and all the bits I've got ready for like at least four or five builds. Um, one of them I have pretty much just finished. Um, I've been riding it the last few days or so and um, it's pretty sick. Um, so that build video will be coming very, very soon. Um, but I also know that I'm gonna get lots of questions about kind of like how and where I'm gonna do builds. This space is for this and for doing editing and stuff. Um, so there will be a, there's more, there's more to come, okay? There's more to show you. Um, I also get loads and loads of questions about where I store all my stuff. Where's all my bikes, where's all my parts, all my frames. Um, so the next video, that will probably be out in a few days, um, we'll go into details on that um, and show you how I'm going to get around that. That's my next task. We've got parts, we've got work area, we've got recording. Now we need to store some bikes. If you hung around this long, uh, I do have some new stickers to show you. Um, these should be live on the website by the time you've seen this. Um, two new stickers, one new logo with the new mat in it, and uh, a proper crusty sticker. I've been trying to perfect the proper crusty, proper crusty sticker for a while now. They're not quite how I want them, but uh, we're working on them. So that's that. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to watch my builds and the upcoming projects that I have coming, um, please feel free to, to, to subscribe to the channel. And um, if you want to see another video right now and you don't want to wait to the next one, that one is a particularly good one. <laughs>